Hey there, Leo Callejas here. And today I want to be talking about, um, well, first of all, I got questions, right? You would like to send advertising directly to, or would you like to send advertising directly to people who show interest in your business, but didn't contact you or schedule a call? Or how about uh, advertising to people that schedule a call, completed a free estimate form, but you have not heard from them or they, um, or you may need to wait to to have you may need a way to keep reminding them right that if they fill out a form, why they haven't contacted you, or why you can how you can help them to to remind you to come back right to your site. Um, so that is possible to do. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use Facebook custom conversions. Right, I'm going to be doing a small a guide for small businesses today. Right, like a contractors, uh, consultants. Um, real estate agents, insurance agents, brokers, right? All those type of people that basically uh, could use benefits from custom conversions, even restaurants, um, small local businesses like that, HVAC services, uh, dentists, chiropractors, any type of, uh, of those services that I just mentioned, right? It could have a way to uh, remind people to come back that if they show interest in your business, right? How can you uh, remind it to come back, or how can you remind it to take action where they are, since they already show initial interest? Hi, again, my name is Leo. For those of you that don't know me, uh, Leo Callejas with DigitalTrack.co. Um, if you are a small business owner that basically just uh, has done advertising, is doing advertising, and you'd be interested in doing it online, but you just want somebody to take over for you because you basically either has been doing it, have been doing it, have been doing great, but you just want somebody else to take over or just basically you've been wanting to do it, but you want somebody else to handle that for you, then and are you local in the Bay Area, are you Hispanic business, I speak Spanish, I'm Espanol, um, I, I can help, okay? So contact me, 707-410-0307 or follow the link below. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be below. So. If though, all this that I mentioned before, right? If you would like to advertise directly to people who show interest in your business, how can you send advertising directly to those people, right? It may seem like magic, but they are in with Facebook custom conversions and with using retargeting and remarketing campaigns. So what is Facebook custom conversions? Well, it may sound complicated. Facebook custom conversions is actually pretty simple. It can be done by uh, setting up a small piece of code, right, uh, that you put on your website or landing page or funnel, however you want to call that. Um, and it's called the, the Facebook pixel that it acts as a tracking mechanism that allows you to see how um, uh, who visited uh, specific pages. Oh, not specifically who visited, but you can kind of see, right, uh, people that are visiting specific uh, pages on your website. Uh, so that's basically what that is. Now, how does Facebook custom conversion works? Okay, when you add this uh, Facebook pixel to your website, it sends information to Facebook explaining how people are interacting with it. Um, you know, if people are viewing uh, a thank you page after they decided to take you on your offer, a specific coupon or offers you're providing, right? Or if they they see a thank you page after scheduling a call because they saw. Uh, something about you as a real estate agent that can uh, provide uh, a free report for the housing market around the area or uh, a report how to get ready to move out the house or a report how to get the house ready, right? Anything that you promise like that, uh, free estimate because uh, for HVAC services or free estimate to come and uh, do the landscaping, do solar, anything like that, right? Uh, people that view specific pages, um, uh, that's basically the, the, what Facebook will keep track of, right? People that are interacting in a specific way with the websites, depending on the, the step they did. While you know, may not know who actually take the, took this action, right? Facebook does. Facebook know who's doing that. And so it will help you create advertising campaigns to target people who are, have already shown interest in your organization. Uh, so for example, let's go and share my screen real quick here. Uh, I'm going to minimize this uh, and just going to give you some examples. I'm going to be just browsing the web real quick. 
uh, oops, I didn't want to open that. Um, let me open a new page. For example, let's say I have an issue, right? I, I, um, I have issues with my uh, air conditioner, right? So let's say um, air, well, air conditioning. I go to Google and I search for something like air condi conditioning uh, service, service. Wow, I can't spell today. Service near me or the city that you are or uh, near San Francisco, if you were in San Francisco or anything like that, right? Let's say somebody does a search like that because they need help with the air conditioning, right? So let's say uh, these over here are advertising and I just basically will click on one of these, right? Let's say I get to your page. I can see a little bit about it. I can see your phone number. Um, I can see they have a form to fill out, okay? But um, let's say, by the way, these people are advertising on Google and I don't see they're really tracking um wow people advertising on google and not tracking who who goes to their website okay at least not to google or facebook they may be tracking somewhere else but that's a no-no right there okay uh if you're gonna be paying for advertising track who's visiting your website uh now this people may be tracking uh, using something else, but um, I, at least I know it's not doing it through Facebook or Google. Uh, all right, so what, like I was saying, let's say I have an issue with my air system, with my air conditioning system, and I go to Google and I I, I, I search for uh, you know air conditioning services near a specific city where I'm located, right? And let's say I come over here and something happened to me, I had to go. I actually didn't took the action to complete the form to uh, schedule a call, or I didn't actually. Uh, you know, pick up the phone uh, or anything like that. But let's say, uh, yeah, it, just because, right, I had to go or do some more thing else or or basically I wasn't sure really if I should go with you and maybe I can go to another website. But what's going to happen with the magic of custom conversions, right? Because I'm setting up specific codes over here uh, on this page, but not on the next page, once I complete the information, then Facebook, Google, or other platforms that offer similar services uh, will be able to keep track of those people that came landed to your page after they saw you ad or after they find you on, on Google or Facebook, uh, but they didn't take the action of completing the form, then that's gonna help you to send another advertising to these people Something like perhaps saying, hey, you know, you visit our website. We want to appreciate you checking this out. Uh, but we we'll, would we'll like to find out how can we help, right? And perhaps send it to a message button you know, perhaps write your phone number or perhaps uh, your email, perhaps uh, send it to another page or perhaps incentivizing even more by saying, hey, we want to help you. We saw you show interest to us. Here is 10% discount. I see that a lot lately with that. Uh, um, for example, I was I was uh, trying to get some printing work done through a company, right, a big company, and um, I didn't complete the order just because I had some issues going to the website, right? And but they knew they had my information, and so right away I I, I got uh, a coupon through email via email saying, hey, you know, complete your order. He's ten percent uh, coupon to help you out with your process. Uh, and um, what what else did I see? Uh, what company did I just sign up? I, I can't remember. It was some other services. Same same thing, right? I signed up for the services. I uh, didn't complete the service, the the the, the request of, it, but I was, uh, right away I got a coupon via email saying, hey, you know, we want you to come back. We didn't we notice you didn't finish your order, so here's a coupon. So same applies over here, right? You, you remind people, hey, we, we saw you visit our website but didn't complete the form. How can we help? Call us. Or here's $10 people to uh, visit you. And same applies for any, everything, guys, okay? 
uh, here we have, let's say, real estate. Um, let's say I want to do something like, uh, what's my home worth? Okay, and let's say I have here obligation cash offers, probably investors over here. Uh, and, and so I'm trying to find out what's my home worth. And I see this uh, because I desperate to sell it. And I see this offer that they buy cash and it's all conditions so that way I had to worry about and they, they buy any condition. And then I know I may, I may be uh, offer lower, right, than I want, than I expect, but, you know, I don't want to deal with fixing it up. So, um, it says over here they offer cash offers and in any conditions. I'm interested. Let me see. Let me see what you got. And so, I perhaps see the form, but uh, something happened. I didn't complete the form, and so I had to go. I I, le I left the page. I wanted to go and check something else. Uh, I got distracted. And so what's ha what's gonna happen? Well, this this company over here, if they actually, you know, if they're doing everything properly, uh, they can. You know, follow me all over the internet with uh, advertising. I, I, I can see they are tracking through Google, uh, so they can perhaps continue to advertise through Google uh, because they're tracking me that I'm landing over here. And if I don't go to the next page uh, and they're doing everything properly, they may uh, follow me with uh, other ads around the internet. Um, Google, by the way, partner up with thousands of websites around the the internet and so I may see the ad in any other website I may be exploring um, if they will for example be tracking me on Facebook I may see their ads pop up all over Facebook or Instagram right um, by the way Google owns YouTube so I may see their ads as well on YouTube if they will have something like that set up uh, what other example can I provide you let's see uh, I uh, my back hurts I need uh, help with the chiropractor Chiropractor near me. I think I can show you enough enough uh, examples. I hope <laughs> make you see the vision here. Okay, so Dr. Stephen Hammer, DC. All right, um, he's obviously advertising on Google. Okay. Uh, oh, another big no no. Advertising on Google and not tracking. Um, who visited the website and it, it sends me through their regular website as opposed to send me somewhere else where chiropractor near me dr steven uh, we provide highest level clinical competition book appointment all right and it just sends me to the normal website where there's a lot of stuff going on i may get confused you know when you do stuff like this it should be straightforward uh this is still a lot of information but it's much straightforward than uh, the other one, right? Um, so, uh, no to Dr. Stephen Hammer. Um, do, when you're doing this, advertising like this, make sure to send it somewhere where it's clean and not a lot of information. So, for example, need an appointment, a page that just talk about that, uh, right? And then what we focus on, and that's it, a form, boom, that's it. Not, no, not, a web, not your full website where I get distracted by looking at everything else. I, I I just have pain. I want to get in contact with you as soon as possible. All right. That's just okay. That's a little side note. But for example, if Dr. Stephen Hammer will be doing everything properly, right, uh, in regards to advertising, um, I, you know, I will I will come to the website. Um, he will be, you know, he will have the Facebook custom conversion pixel set up, and he will have. Uh, perhaps Google or, or, or any other type of pla advertising platform tracking uh, that I come over here, but then perhaps let's say I didn't uh, call them, I didn't complete a form to schedule a, a visit, uh, or I didn't schedule, uh, I didn't take advantage of perhaps a uh, first time patient uh, uh, special uh, going on or for free or 20 bucks or whatever they have you, the, the special may be. Um, I didn't took your offer. I didn't schedule a call. I didn't. I didn't call anything like that. Well, what happens? I left the website. I may forget about you. But what happens? Uh, well, great businesses that are uh, doing stuff like this, pro this properly, right? They will perhaps follow me all over the internet to remind me to come back, right? Um, they will. Um, 
uh, re do their retargeting, remarketing by obviously continue to send me ads through Facebook or Instagram or Google or YouTube or any other platform, Bing, if you're doing Bing ads, um, to, 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 to show up their ads all, all over the internet to remind me, right, that I had this pain, I, I didn't take action, uh, and I need to call it back. I need to call back Dr. Stephen Hammer. And the list go on and on. I don't know how many um, more examples how you want me to give you guys, okay? But uh, I think I made a point there. All right, let's move on. So where are we? Where were you? How does, custom, how does Facebook custom conversion work? So I hope that makes sense. How does it work? Okay, so but that, now how do I set that up, Leo? How do I set up the Facebook custom conversions? Uh, first of all, right, you need to have a, so if we do, if we talk about Facebook specifically, uh, you need to go to your ads manager and actually go into the settings sections over here. You see the, this is, well, depending on the version, I'm using business Facebook manager. You'll see the settings is this little three lines over here. Um, and then you will go to all tools. The first thing you got to do if you haven't done it yet is set up your pixel. You will just come to pixels and they follow the process to get it set up so that way it will show up. Now, once it show up, you're gonna grab the piece of code, you're gonna have your developer do, can do this, right? Or you can call us and help you out with this, right? And 707-410-0307, um, text me as well, it's a hell, you can text me. And that piece of code, you're gonna grab it, go to your website, have your developer or go do it yourself and put it on uh, what is called the header or your website, right? In my, in my case, I'm using something called Builderall, which is a platform similar, uh, drop and drag platform building websites, just like uh, Squarespace or Wix or any of those, right? GoDaddy. Um, that basically all I do is I grab the code and then I paste it somewhere where uh, uh, where my website either tells me that I need to put it or I just need to find whatever says on, on the platform that I use in that I can use it to put uh, header scripts or anything like that, right? You, you Basically, depending on the platform that you use it, you, you will follow their guidance to see where you need to put the code. But here's the Facebook uh, pixel code, right? So I got this set up over here. And so now I'm all ready to... To advertise right if, if somebody for example came to a page my page that says work with me um, right and they need to take action I can send advertising back to those people to remind them that hey you visited my my page you want to talk to me but you need to schedule a consultation what happened how can we help or here's my number uh, and so that's basically how you set it up right uh, well let me go back a little bit. Let me backtrack. So I, I, I'm done installing my 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 pixel. All right, that's the first thing you gotta do, right? Go to the ads manager. Uh, if you don't have your pixel created, go and create it. Then it they add it to your website. Now the custom conversions, right? How can I make sure that Facebook can know that if somebody landed over here but didn't go to the next page to schedule a page? How can I make sure that I keep track of all that? So you can you know on the settings on your business. Facebook Ads Manager, um, you can go to all tools, you can click on custom conversions, and that's where you will go to uh, set it up. Now, there's different, a couple of different ways you can do it. You can either uh, do the standard conversion, meaning, um, meaning you put a specific uh, code, with, you put a little modification within the pixel and tell, and tell them, right, so for example, um, the little modification will be done on this code over here, right? There's a section there that it will be saying specifically, for example, hey, this is for page view only, but it, the, the stand, there's uh, the, the other way to track it is, for example, if this will be a page for leads or a page for, I can't remember what the other, um, Options are search or, or or page for purchase. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is uh, put in uh, the website um, that you're visiting, right? So for example, let me go back here to uh, this Facebook uh, option. So for example, so create custom conversions, right? You can put the, when you go into custom conversions over here, 
you can put the section of your website that uh, they're visiting. So for example, if I go to traffic factory for realtors.club, um, I want to track not the, not the page over here, work with me, but the next page, like the thank you page, right? So for example, if, uh, if there will be a thank you page after they schedule a call, uh, that's what I will set up as my custom conversion, right? Because uh, I just want to track people that actually made it there. And people that made it there is the people that actually took action and schedule a call and got to the next page, what could be what is called thank you page, right? Or anything like that. Um, the reason why I don't want to track this one, I, I already tracking um, everything through the pixel, but as a custom conversion, is because the action that I wanted to take is to actually make it to the area after the, the next page after they schedule a free consultation. Um, I wanted to show you here, but okay. I don't have it set up here, but yeah. Uh, the area after they, they click over here and they schedule the free consultation, right? For example, uh, after they put the information, they go to the next page. Uh, that's what I would like it to take. The people that actually took the action to schedule the call, get to the next page. Uh, the reason why is that is because that way I can leave the people alone. They got the, the they got to the next page, and I can actually just uh, re-advertise and so send advertising to people that came over here that shown some interest but didn't take the action to schedule the free consultation. By and the way I know that is because they didn't make it to the next page that I'm tracking through the custom conversion. So that's basically how you set it up. And uh, I just want to show you a quick general overview. I don't want to go into much depth. That's something that we can you can do. Right. If you want to schedule a call with me, you can go to my website, digitaltrack.co. OK, and you can schedule a call. You can come over here, schedule a call and. And we can go from there. OK, you can go to the contact us section. So that way, in case you need to get in contact with me, uh, you will see my my email, phone number, all my social media profiles. Um, so, yeah. That, that is what I wanted to go over today. Hope this information was valuable. If you, if you got any type of uh, value over this, please leave a comment, uh, leave it a like, depending where you're watching this. Uh, subscribe if you just want to basically get um, uh, notifications whenever we go live or uh, perhaps new videos are added. If you, for, for example, subscribe to YouTube or give it a like if you're watching this on my Facebook business page and we just want to keep stay updated. Uh, if you're doing this from the Facebook business page, you may want to um, go here, right? When you like my page, you may want to go to here following and then see first if you want to actually be able to uh, make sure you don't miss new training that comes out. OK, so I hope this information helped you. Uh, again, leave a comment if you have any questions, reach out to me. If you have any questions, if you want to schedule a call, uh, you can go to digitaltrack.co and follow what we can do for you. All right. Have a good one. Bye.